Today we will talk about the uh, PDF tree. And before we do so, I want to highlight uh, how our software has been awarded in the last few years. The last award, as you can see, is from the BLI, which uh, gave us the Software Pick Award for 2018. And uh, Pop PDF has been awarded there as the most outstanding uh, PDF uh, solution. And amongst uh, other things, they highlighted uh, three points. Uh, intuitive design, the set of features our product offers, and then the support we offer, not only through security with the password protection, encryption, and so forth, but also for the uh, enterprise uh, support we offer to our customers with uh, maintenance and support. But when we look into our customers and we ask ourselves the questions why they actually need a PDF solution, PDF is still the most used uh, format uh, on the internet today. If you go to Google and you do a search on a type of uh, documents, you will see that uh, there's different types of uh, uh, formats uh, available on the internet. And as you can see, PDF uh, today is still the most used uh, format with around 70 to 80%. So since there's so many PDF uh, documents out there, we need to gain control of these PDF documents. And uh, what do customers actually need? Why do they need PDF software? Well, they simply need software to be able to edit PDF files. They need to be able to create uh, PDF files from uh, multiple documents. They uh, want maybe to convert a PDF document into an editable format like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, amongst other things as well as uh, they need to, for example, be able to secure their documents with uh, passwords, uh, with uh, encryption, to be able to create uh, fillable forms and to be able to digitally sign uh, documents. And then finally, uh, we can uh, introduce PAL PDF uh, 3 to you, which uh, is uh, the best PDF uh, software that uh, uh, Nuance has ever created. I would even say it's probably the best uh, PDF uh, product uh, on the market today. And why is this uh, the best PDF product on the market today and the best version we ever released? As you can see here on the screen, first of all, the unparalleled document conversion accuracy and compatibility, the ease of use with enhanced editing capabilities, superior experience thanks to our improved uh, ribbon interface, and then two big uh, improvements, one being the uh, integration of uh, DocuSign, which is uh, the leader in uh, uh, online uh, digitally uh, signing, and the uh, network collaboration, which will allow you to uh, work uh, real time on the same document uh, through the internal uh, network. But the main uh, compelling event for a customer to uh, migrate to the latest version of uh, Power PDF, obviously, is the fact that uh, the PDF Association has released a new ISO format, which is the PDF 2.0. And uh, this is the industry standard that uh, need to be complied. And the Power PDF is today 100% compliant with that uh, format. And that should be the main reason for customers to move over to Power PDF 3. When we look into detail um, what new features we have added to PAL PDF 3 compared to the previous version, uh, we're not going to highlight uh, uh, all the feature sets, um, but uh, looking at the latest version, in both the standard and advanced version, we have, for example, improved the accuracy and the OCR uh, engine, the uh, document editing capabilities, we have added uh, extra features to the document assembly mode with swapping and duplicating pages. We have uh, enhanced the editing capabilities when we're using a digital pen, for example, on a Microsoft Surface device. We have uh, a combined uh, all files button, which creates one single PDF with all open PDF files. And from now on, all open PDF files uh, are available on a tapped view, which is easier to work with. And we have improved the interface thanks to the four new uh, colors that have been introduced. And obviously, like I mentioned earlier, the compatibility with the latest uh, ISO uh, PDF 2.0 format, which is uh, very important. What's new in only the advanced version? That's the signature workflows, like I mentioned earlier, with the integration of uh, DocuSign, which requires the customer to have an existing subscription. The collaboration workflows uh, with uh, the multi-user uh, uh, network collaboration uh, capabilities. The document security workflows with, for example, shared watermarks. 
the workflow automation, which makes a link to existing Nuance solutions such as uh, AutoStore and Nuance uh, Business Connect. Enterprise deployment for the IT directors amongst you, which has uh, improved the deployment of the software um, at the company level, uh, being able to create different uh, groups. And last but not least, the workflow automation with improved uh, features in the sequencer and in the form building uh, capabilities. And this brings us uh, to our demo. We will uh, show you PAL PDF3 now. So here we are, we're going to show uh, PAL PDF3 now. And as you can see on the screen, uh, PAL PDF has now a different skin color. It's uh, in blue, and this is one of the new features uh, we added to PAL PDF. I'll go to the view menu. And as you can see, we have now the change skin button, which gives you choices between purple, dark gray, light gray, and blue. I have chosen, chosen blue now. And the main reason we have chosen these four colors is for uh, accessibility reasons, uh, because we have the right contrast that uh, allows uh, people with reduced uh, visibility to uh, keep working uh, perfectly with our product. But let's go to the home menu, so I can show you some of the new features of uh, Power PDF 3. So first of all, I'll go here to the document uh, assembly button. Um, here I can uh, have an overview of the document uh, I have open. And for example, if I don't need page number seven, I can select it and delete it. And uh, you can do many other things. Uh, um, when, for example, I'm uh, on page two and I click the right button, you will see there's multiple uh, possibilities. Uh, you can, you know, um, extract that page, you can insert a new page there and so forth. But we have added two new functionalities here. One being swap pages and the other one being duplicate pages. To swap pages, when I click on that button, I want to, for example, patch, swatch page two with page five. I'll click OK. And you have seen now that these two pages uh, have uh, swapped position. Maybe I want to duplicate page one. So I'll select page one, click the right button, click duplicate. And as you will see now, page one has been uh, duplicated uh, on my screen. Leaving uh, the document uh, assembly button and uh, showing you now the combine all button. So this is something new as well in Power PDF 3. And this will allow you to combine all open documents. So if I now click on combine all, you see I have four open documents. I will be able to convert all these four documents into one single uh, PDF file. And now we're mentioning this. Uh, we have a tapped view now. Before. Uh, per open document, you had a separate uh, window, and now you are able to open up uh, all documents um, in the same uh, interface, having these uh, tabs and allowing you to work uh, even better. Since I'm uh, in uh, one of the four documents, I'll quickly um, open up uh, this document here, which is, as you can see, a scanned document, uh, pretty uh, low uh, resolution, no OCR recognition just to again highlight how powerful our OCR engine is. Uh, our OCN, uh, OCR comes from uh, our product uh, OmniPage, which has uh, now a new uh, version of the uh, engine. And we have embedded that new OCR engine into Power PDF to even increase uh, accuracy. So if, for example, I want to export this uh, uh, scanned document straight into Excel, all I need to do is click on the Excel button. I will save this on my desktop. And you will see uh, how a PAL PDF will now create an Excel file uh, with all the content of the uh, document. Excel is opening. And there you go. Um, I'll quickly improve the site. And you will see that the document has successfully been imported into, uh, into Excel, which now allows me to uh, add uh, new columns into Excel and to uh, keep on working on the document. Now, let's go to the next menu, which is the Edit menu. And also here, we have added the new functionalities. On previous versions, you only had an Edit Object button. Right now, we have two buttons. It's the Edit Text and edit object button. When I, for example, open up this document here, I can edit the text. And I can, for example, here um, decide that uh, this whole box needs to be on one line. 
there you go. I see here a box which says uh, net sales, but actually it's not net sales, it's gross sales. So I can uh, easily adjust that and then adjust the size of the box again. Or just if I want to remove it, just uh, click delete and remove this. And this is how you can easily edit an existing document as if you were um, in a Word uh, editor uh, program. And of course, every time you edit uh, text, a new uh, tab will appear now, which allows you to change the size, um, the font, uh, the colors, and so forth. Going to the edit menu again, to now show you the edit object button. When I click this button, I can now literally select any object um, in my uh, uh, PDF document. Here, I have selected uh, a logo, which I want actually on the right side of the document. So all I need to do is just drag and drop it and move it to the right side. I scroll down to this document here and I see there's a picture. Actually, I want to replace this picture with a video. So one of the newest uh, uh, PDF uh, uh, ISO uh, standard uh, rules is that you should be able to embed MP4 uh, files into your PDF file now. And this is what I will do now. So in the same edit button, I can click on movie. And this will allow me to draw a box on my PDF. I'll click browse and I'll go look for my uh, video. As you can see, we have many formats available. I'll choose here the one that includes uh, MP4. There you go. And uh, I have my uh, files right here. I'll click OK. I won't create the cover now. And as soon as I now click, the video will now start playing into a uh, Power PDF. Going to uh, the next uh, set of features. And for that, I'll go to the comments uh, menu. I'll uh, go again to my previous uh, file here. I can uh, now uh, click on the draw tools and go to the pencil. For that, I'll take my uh, uh, tactile pencil now and I'll draw on the screen. I'll select this text here. I will draw an arrow and I will write a text. There you go. And this will now create one single comment which uh, is an improvement compared to the previous version where for every drawing you made, you had a separate uh, uh, comment uh, box. Now it's uh, one uh, single uh, comment uh, box that uh, it creates. So with that, I'll go to the next menu, which is security. And there I will show you DocuSign. As I mentioned uh, during the presentation, DocuSign is an online uh, signing uh, platform. And when I click on the DocuSign uh, logo, I uh, first need to sign in. So let me sign in into this document. There you go. I need to add my password. And as you can see, uh, DocuSign will now open up uh, immediately into Power PDF. So we're in the cloud now. We don't have to open up uh, DocuSign uh, through the web browser, but it opens up straight um, into uh, Power PDF. I click continue and I can now um, go and select my signature and for example, drop this here on the top right corner. And this is how a uh, digital signature looks like with uh, the DocuSign uh, platform. And from here on, I can go any direction. I can, for example, uh, uh, assign this uh, document to someone else. I can print and sign this document uh, and so forth. Just to give you an idea of uh, how you work with DocuSign within uh, Power PDF. And then there's uh, one last thing for me to show you. And that is uh, collaboration. So on the left hand side, I'll click on the collaboration button. And first I need to um, select the option visible to users in the same LAN. I'll click the start collaboration button and I'll click the refresh button. This will allow me to see if the colleague I want to collaborate with is connected um, on the same internal network. Because like we mentioned on the presentation, we don't do collaboration over the cloud for security reasons. And we believe that using collaboration only through the internal network will enhance that uh, security. 
Additionally, I can uh, create a password for that colleague so only he can log in uh, into my uh, session. I see my colleague is online, so I click on his name and I click Start. And that's, that will allow him now to um, collaborate with me together on the same document. And as you can see, um, his mouse is uh, moving. And uh, as you can see now as well, um, he's adding uh, comments uh, on uh, my document. And this is how you collaborate uh, with uh, Power PDF uh, through the uh, um, network uh, internally. And with this, I think uh, we have highlighted uh, the most important features in uh, Power PDF uh, 3. So we want to thank you for uh, your attendance and uh, hopefully we'll uh, be able to uh, meet uh, with all of you anytime uh, soon. Thank you very much. Bye.